Kelly. I'm here with my friend Angie. Hi. And boy, do we have a story for you. <laughs> Just so you guys know, this isn't clickbait. This is a story time video, but we are going to do live. We're going to actually call this person, confront my ex with the other woman. So we got to give you guys the backstory here to explain what is going on. Those of you who have seen my How I Got Cheated on story time, this is not about Gabe. This is about the guy I dated shortly after Gabe. We're gonna call him Caleb, all right? Angie lives in Reading. She's lived here for a long time and we never met before, but so she knew Gabe. Well, so yeah. She was hanging out with like Gabe and his friends. And so Caleb, when I was dating Caleb, I told him like, oh yeah, like my ex Gabe and like his friends are hanging out with this new girl, like Angie, didn't know her. And so I showed Caleb who she was. Anyways, I broke up with Caleb like in December. Like we did not date for that long, like at all. And I broke up with him for a lot of reasons. If you've seen my other videos, you can kind of like see why. Like I just want to be single at this stage of my life. Like I want to focus on school. I just wasn't really feeling the relationship. I just, it wasn't happening. Like I'd have to drive down there every weekend or he'd come up here because he lived like four hours away. So when we broke up, it gets progressively worse, you guys. So just hold tight. We have to explain this though. He DMs her on Instagram. He was supposed to come up one weekend and hang out with me. And he told me we we're gonna we we're gonna hang out at his friend's house. He gets here and like he's like, dude, okay, so there's something wrong with my friends. Cause like it turns out it was that my friend friends is really or his friends is really her friend. She hit me up, she's like are you and Caleb spending the night? And I was like, no, like, I broke up with him. And she's like, oh, well, he's been texting me that like, he's trying to come to Reading. And I was thinking, like, he would not drive all the way to Reading. He did. He drove all the way up here. He gets here, and he's like, I don't understand. My friends aren't texting me back. So he asked me for her address. I'm like, dude, she's not replying on purpose. That's weird. Like, those are my friends. Like, I don't want to hang out with you, like, without me being there. Like, we broke up. Like, we're not cool. Because he was, like, lying and, like, kind of trying to get at, like, my other friends in Brownwood. So, like, me and him, I was just like, dude, like, I don't, I didn't really care for him at that moment. And so then he meets her for the first time. They hang out, then they start hanging out every weekend, and they become kind of like a thing. And it's just so funny, because, like, we both had, like, the same mentality on him when we first met him. Like, we didn't really know him, but we were trying to give him a chance, and, like, yeah. that whole thing. My friends would, like, send me pictures of him, like, in Reading with her, like, walking around, and I'm just like, oh my god, I can't leave my dorm, I don't want to run into him, like, it's so creepy, like, he doesn't live here, like, how come he feels the need to drive up here every weekend for companionship? When we were dating, he had gotten us these bracelets. They look like this. They're from, like, I don't know where they're from, like, a different country or something little focus and so they came with like this little card like they're like relationship bracelets like it's like the you complete me and it's like it has like a card like has the meaning written on it so we had like matching and we actually had two like he had two I had two and so my friend Sam was over one time and he was like oh this is like a dough bracelet like can I have it and I told him like that Caleb it was our bracelet I'm like sure like I don't I don't care like he had like his new girlfriend or whatever like they were talking and um so Sam took one of them because I had two and I had to sell the other one so, like we both like knew Sam and stuff so Sam comes up to me and we were talking he's all where'd you get that bracelet and I'm like oh uh Caleb gave it to me <laughs> and uh He's like, he's like, oh, um, I have the same one. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. He's like, yeah, because Allie has a... And I was like, what? He's like, he, he and, him and Allie both have matching bracelets. And I'm like... <laughs> so he re-gifted the relationship you completely went to her. She had no idea. She thought he, like, got it for her. Yeah. Like, it was just his bracelet. And he gave it to her. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Like, so things were already weird because, like, I guess, like, like now that I met her, she told me that he would, like, talk about me to her and stuff. Like, just really, yeah. like, randomly bring me up and, like, say weird things. And, uh... Like, I would be talking, and then all of, out of nowhere, he'd be like, dude, Allie did the... Or me, I would be like, I'd be in the middle of saying something. He'd just cut me off. Like, oh, well, Allie, and, like, dude, we were just talking about something else. Like, so, fast forward, like, I don't know, maybe a month later, we hadn't spoken at all. And so we ended up talking on the phone one night. And he hits me with the, I love you, I miss you, I really want to see you, like, please let me see you. And I was like, bro, like, you have a girlfriend, like, you have a girlfriend. And I guess, like, they weren't, I, I'll get to that. So I'm like, you have a girlfriend. I just assumed that she was his girlfriend. I was just, like, calling her his girlfriend, even though, like, I was pretty sure they were just, like, talking, like, like, that's it. But, like, it, it was, looked pretty serious. Like, he'd always, like, post with her, like, all this stuff. And, I mean, he gave her, the like, the relationship bracelet. And he's like, she's not my girlfriend. I'm just using her to get over you. Like, it's not even like that. Like, it's not that serious. And I'm like, you gave her the you complete me bracelet. Like, stop. He's like, no, I gave her to her by accident. Like, I'm gonna ask for it back. He's begging to see me. Like, to see me in Reading. And I, that's, like, an eight-hour drive. Like, four hours here, four hours back. And I was in Chico at the time with my friends. And I was like, dude, I like, no. Like, whatever you have to say to me, you can say to me over the phone. Like, why do you need to see me in person? Like, there's no need. And then I was like, plus I was like, dude, like I'm not a home wrecker. Like if you have a thing with this girl, then like she needs to be cool with it. And he's like, oh, she's chill with it. Like she's chill. I told her I'm gonna see you. I was like, you're gonna drive eight hours on a Sunday night to come see me because I was coming back Sunday night anyways. 
he's like yeah please just whatever finally I was like whatever I'm like but you're not gonna spend the night like you're just like literally gonna come up and talk to me and you can leave and if that's really what you want to do I'm like are you gonna come see me and then like go see her afterwards or something and he's like no no absolutely not and it didn't make any sense I'm like who in their right mind drives eight hours to talk to someone for five minutes and then leaves so I get a call actually from Gabe Gabe of all people calls me I mentioned I was gonna see Caleb and he goes just to let you know they're together right now. Angie's with Caleb right now. She's at his house all weekend. I drove down there to go, you know, hang out with him. It was my first night or first time ever at his house. I met his family. His family loved me. You know, he he'd tell me all this stuff, like, you're so beautiful. Like, I like you he so was much. hella like, into her. And he's over here like, it's not even serious, though. She's yeah. not my girlfriend. And so he didn't want me to know that he was with her. Like, he completely, he didn't lie about it. But when I brought up, like, him seeing her, he was like, oh, no. Well, I don't know why he wasn't going to go see her afterwards. He was already with her. He'd already been with her the whole weekend. And I'm like... This dude, this dude is so fake right now because I was like, are you kidding me? The messages, he was begging to see me. I love you, I miss you, you're so beautiful, I want you back. And I told him straight up, like, before I saw him, I said, look, like, this isn't gonna change anything. We're not getting back together. Like, this is, we're gonna talk, you know what I mean? Because honestly, we hadn't talked in person since we broke up because this sounds really bad, but I broke up with him over the phone when I was in Ohio visiting family. So we hadn't actually seen each other in person since then or talked. So I was like, fine, like, you know, I agreed to it. But then when Gabe tells me this, I call him, he doesn't pick up, like, on purpose. I call him again, I'm like, answer your phone, I text him. So then he answers, and he pulls, like, I can't hear you, what? It's loud. He's in the truck with her. I'm like, are you with her right now? And he's like, um, yeah. And then I went off on him. I was like, show her the messages. Show her the messages. I'm like, I'm gonna send her screenshots. I was so pissed. I was like, put, put me on speaker. Am I on speaker? He's like, no. I'm like, I, yeah, you better hope I'm not on speaker right now. I'm like, I can't believe this. I'm like, does she know? He's like, yeah, she knows. Like, and he would just, like... I can't hear you and like hang up because like he knows like she's gonna hear like his side of the conversation on the phone mm -hmm. with me and she was pissed like tell him what you yeah. were telling him okay so here's the thing though is I didn't know he was going to see her again okay so like I don't drive and well I don't drive yet just because I'm lazy I've got my license and you know but anyway <laughs> um so my grandma she's gonna pick me up halfway and I you know because I have family in Sacramento so she was gonna see like her daughter and then pick me up and he was we were gonna meet up in Sacramento and then out of nowhere he's like well, you know, I'll just take you home. You know, I'll just, and I thought that was really weird. I'm like, why do you want to drive me all the way home and drive all the way back? Like, it's a long drive. Who wants to drive that much? Like, and I'm like, well, I was like, no, it's fine. Like, my grandma can just pick me up. He's like, no, 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 no. I like, I want to drive you home. Like, I'm like, if it's okay, like, if it's that big a deal and stuff. And so, like, I was just like thinking, you know, we're just going to drive home. And he's already acting like hella weird for some reason. And he like asked me out. For like, and we were only together for like one day. And it wasn't he asked her officially to be his girlfriend. Yeah. So they were in a relationship at this point. And so like then he like, he tells me like at the next day out of nowhere like, oh, um, I kind of just want to be single. Like, you know, I kind of just want to be single. And that's the day like, you know, they talked on the phone or, I mean, or they like text each other and stuff. So like he's going to shave his beard. And I'm like, why do you need to go shave your beard? Like, what's the big deal? And then he's like trying to look good, like really messing with himself. Like you should picking out his outfit all like, I'm like, why? It's like put on some sweatpants. Let's just go home. Like and stuff. And like he was so like crazy about driving me home. And so anyway, like I'm like sitting in the car and I text my friend. Let's call him Bobby. Bobby. I texted Bobby, and, uh... Bobby I was, knows the whole situation. Oh, yeah. He knows me, we're good friends, and he... He knows Caleb, but he doesn't like Caleb, but he knows all the drama, and he was, like, knew what was going on. Like, he... And like, I told Bobby, like, that Caleb was coming to see me. Yeah. And, like, Bobby's, like, my ex. Like, me and Bobby weren't together that long, but, like, we, like, you know, we were super close and stuff, and, like... So, um, I texted him, Mama, I think there's something going on with Caleb, all this stuff, and he's like, All right, all right, Angie, this is what's gonna happen. Okay, he's like, I need to tell you something, like... He's really going down there to go see Allie. Like, after he drops you off, he's going to go see Allie. So he comes back out to the car. Like, I'm sitting there waiting, and he's all, he's like, hey! I'm, like, sitting there mad. I'm, like, mm, you know, and stuff. And he, I'm, like, you know, and he's all, Psh, what's wrong with you? Like, and he always does that. Like, Psh. And it's like, Psh. Psh. Anyway, so, well, I'm, like, sitting there, and he's like, I'm like, you're going to go see Allie, aren't you? And he's all, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I haven't really thought about it. He's begging me the whole weekend to see me. So then he tells me, no, 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 please. Like, I ended things with her. I dropped her. LOL, LOL. Because he asked nothing. her to be his girlfriend. He was telling me, I just used her to get over you, Allie. Like, it's not that serious. Like, I dropped her. Like, she, we're nothing anymore. Like, I don't, I don't associate with her. Like, I'm just dropping her off. Finally, like, me being stupid, whatever, because he made me feel guilty. Like, I came all the way here, and I told him, like, I'm not going to see you. I hung up, like, and, like, a couple hours passed, and, like, he, like, waited a long time. He was still in ready, like, trying to see me. So I was like, fine. So he, oh, 
He had the audacity to ask her for oh. her phone charger. Did you see me? Yes. Okay. So he, he was blowing up because I could see him the entire. Like he was barely like focused one side on the road. It was like, like one sided conversation. He's like blowing up my message. I wasn't. And responding. I could see him. Different blue little messages, you know, like that he was texting her, and, and he like forgot his charger, and so like we get to my house, and he's like, "Hey, I was wondering if I could use your charger." What? Um, bruh. Yeah, no, bruh. okay. Like, I'm like, if you didn't text, you know, Allie so much, maybe your phone would still be working. Like, I was so pissed. I could not, like, what? Like, how, in what your right mind would that be okay? And oh, get this. He turned us against each other. He made the each other. The whole time. Like, yeah, he made each other sound like we were, we hated each other. Like, if we saw each other, we were going to kill each other. Like, all this stuff. Yeah, like, he was telling me, like, because I, because we're like so alike, and it's crazy. Because even like our friend Sam, the one who was wearing the bracelet, and like uh, Bobby and uh, Gabe, everyone would always told us like you guys would actually be friends. You guys are actually a lot of yeah. like. And so I was like, oh, okay, like maybe this is getting blown out of proportion. And so I told Caleb that he's like, oh no, too bad she hates you. Like yeah. So he would always act like we just like didn't. And it's kind of true we didn't like each other, but it's because like he he like positioned it that way. Like, yeah. After this, like the next weekend, my friend Michael. Poke flirt. He was up here filming with me, and Caleb hit me up. He was like asking to come up and see me, and I was like, no, like I'm busy. I have stuff to do. I'm really sorry. Like no. And guess what? He shows up here. Like he came to surprise me, and he was trying to be sweet and everything. And it was like, like I just like wasn't in the mood. Like I wanted to film with Michael. Like I had homework and stuff. And so I'm not even gonna go into detail what happened that night, which was pretty crazy. But let's just say that the next day when he leaves. He freaking calls her, like, asking you to hang out. He's at, like, because there's a gas station right by my house. He's sitting at that gas station, and he calls me, and he's like, Hey, like, I'm in town. I, like, I want to see you. And I'm like, why are you, oh, why are you in town? And he's like, oh, like, you know, I just, like, I really want to see you. I'm like, no, I know exactly where you were. You were with Allie. You're not going to see her. I didn't even invite him up here. see me right after. And get this, that weekend, he was supposed to come and hang out with me. And then... Because they were still cool. Like, we were... Yeah. At this point, we were both, like, cool with him because we were just, like, okay, whatever. Like, in the past, like, we don't even like yeah. him like that. Like, it's all chill. But because he was kind of trying to keep us both in his pocket, like... Yeah. yeah big pimping up here in Reading. Like, no. He asked me to be his Valentine, right? I was in LA over Valentine's. Did I tell you that? He asked me to be his Valentine. Dude, oh my god, I'm so dead. Okay, but yeah. Then, and then he took it back. He, he took it back after the whole thing happened. He like, he's like, oh no. Like, wow. He asked both of us to be his Valentine, apparently. And I was in LA that weekend with my best friend Naomi, and I was out there. And then he always like tags his location on Instagram and Snapchat, everything, geotag, and. He did. He didn't tag his location. He was posting pictures. Then again, guess who calls me? Gabe. Gabe to the rescue tells me, "Hey, just so you know, he's with Angie and Redding." Yeah. I was like, "What?" And not even like it matter. Like broke up. But I'm just like, I'm so sick of him being like super shady and weird and like just super sketchy. Like thinking he can get all these girls and like, come to Redding. And so um, he was like not stop texting me the whole weekend. Like I post a Snapchat with like a guy in LA I met, like just someone cool or whatever. And he like, has fun with your boy on your Snapchat. And I'm like, oh. And he was so oh annoying. And finally he texted me and I was like, look, you need to stop texting me. You need to leave me alone. Like, stop getting jealous. Like, we're nothing. And you obviously are still messing around with Angie because, not messing around, but like, still trying to talk to her or be friends with her or whatever. Because he had told me before, like, I don't associate with her. Like, nothing. Like, don't speak to her. And then he tried to say they were friends and he just kept changing it and being weird. And so I'm like, look, stop talking to me. He wouldn't leave me alone. So finally, this guy I was like, sort of talking to at the time, like, my good friend, he ended up um, calling him. He didn't block the number or anything. And so I didn't, like, know he was going to say this or do this, but he ended up, like, leaving a voicemail being, like, stop texting Allie or I'm going to, like, like, threaten him, basically. But it was, like, it wasn't, it, nothing was going to happen. Yeah. Caleb shows his mom and, like, told me, he implied that he, like, told the police. And so whatever, I haven't blocked and everything. So I know he tried to talk to me since then because he unblocked me on Instagram and everything, but he's still blocked. If he has texted me, hey, Caleb, if you're watching this, if you've texted me, I didn't get the messages because you've been blocked since then. So... About a week ago, actually over the weekend, if you guys saw my life in color vlog, this is what I'm talking about here. So this is my second rave. Okay, so like I went there with like a few friends and I, I originally was supposed to go with Caleb, but Caleb, for some reason at the last minute, he, he didn't even tell me I had to figure it out myself again. He's like, oh, about that, like there's not enough room in the hotel. I got so pissed off because I wanted to go so bad. Like, you know, me and him were fine. Like I just forgave him, I was gonna be his friend, like stuff. and. 
I find out that he really goes there with like some girl that, and he's he's been telling me this entire time. Me and this girl are nothing. We're nothing. Like I don't like her. This we're girl, just good friends. I introduced him. Like she's my friend. And me and her are so cool. Like it doesn't matter because this is like we broke up a couple of days ago, you know. But so when we first broke up, like he was talking to her and he like tried to lie about it and stuff and sneaking around with her. It was just weird. And like he he went with like her and my other friend because my other friend like her boyfriend invited him. Like so my friend didn't even was like. You know, it was out of her control, like, he just came with them. And so, I'm filming the vlog for YouTube, so I run into those girls, and I'm like, oh my gosh, let's dance, like, let's film, and so they're, like, in the video for a bit. I see her, and I didn't recognize her, and so I just, like, hey, can you film for us really fast? I just handed her my phone. Yeah. And so she's recording us, and I come back to grab, like, thank you for, like, filming us, and then we look at each other, and she's like, you're Allie, and I was like, you're Angie! Yeah, and we were like, what? And then we hugged, and we were like, yeah. I'm so sorry for anything that was said. And so we were like raving together the whole night, dancing, like getting on people's shoulders, like having a good time. Caleb comes up to me, and he's all, who's that? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> he's like, he's like, what? And he was like trying to talk to me, and I couldn't like hear anything he's saying. So he corners me in one of the corners in, of the wall, because there's like these giant pillars, and so like I'm in the corner. And he, I'm like up against this corner, and he's screaming at me <laughs> at the top of his lungs. And on, he's like yelling, he's all, she ruined my life! <laughs> oh, you guys have been best friends this entire time! And then he's like, F you! And he just pushes me, and like super hard! And I'm like, <gasps> and so I ran after him, and I pushed him back, and I was like, F you! And so <laughs> Like, you know. And she comes over to me and she's like tears in her eyes. Like, he yeah, pushed he made me super cry. hard. Afterwards, like, she comes back to our hotel and she's chilling with us for a bit. And we talk and we start, like, figuring out all this stuff. We were talking about things he had told us. He lied about his past to both of us. I was like, oh, what did he tell you about this? And she had, like, different answers than I did. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, he lied about so much stuff. Like, he would just tell us completely different stories. Oh my god. And so, ever since the rave, dude, like, we have been hanging out mm -hmm. every day. We've been, like, posting pictures together on Snapchat mm -hmm. and Instagram and everything. He's texting you, like, Angie, please talk to me. Please, like, can I call you? He's, like, quoting, like, hashtags that I used on pictures with her. Like, he's hella creepy. Like, like somehow he's looking at my Instagram. We're just gonna wing us right now and call him on speakerphone. And we're gonna hear what he has to say. And I'm gonna hop in like, psych! Because he lied about hella stuff. And we're, we're just gonna see how he reacts. This is us live right now calling him. She got her answer. <laughs> He's probably with this girl. Oh my god. Hello? Uh, hey, you wanted me to call uh, you? What? You wanted me to call you? Um, yeah. What do you want to talk about? A while ago, though. I don't know. Why are you, like, ignoring me and stuff? I thought we were friends or something. Oh, well, you know, like, I've just been finding out a lot, a lot of stuff, and, you know. Oh, for sure. So she's got you on her side now, huh? No, I mean, like, yeah, I guess. I'm here, like, on speaker with her now, huh? Because I can, I can hear you. I'm on speaker, so. I mean, yeah. You're on speaker. Okay, cool. So, uh, picture. Thanks, guys. Hi to everyone who's in the car or wherever you're at. Alright. Alright. Whatever. Okay. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> he said hi to everyone who's in the car or wherever you're at. Dude, we're he in the said, car. He said, what's up, YouTube? He said, what's up? Yeah, she he, she's got you on her side now. Like, what the heck? I don't even know what to say. I know, I got so that's I started like because whenever I lie, I shake really bad. I've been hearing a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's he just like, oh, I, I think he knows. He because he didn't want us talking because he knew we would figure all this stuff out. He was expecting me to like go back with him after Ali rejected him another time. Like, hearts in his messages again, and he would like, you know, he would like start like really flirting with me. And it was like, he was trying to do that with me the whole time too. So like, he just kind of like, I feel like he expected me to like, oh my god. Oh, it's all good. Just Yay, I got you back. Like, no. Little does he know, this is about to be on YouTube, guys. He's gonna freak <laughs> out. Nice he texted, you. call me later, I'm going to class. Call me later, I'm going to class. Okay. We might have to get the part two in this video of him calling. Then you can act like you're not with me anymore. Hey, Loki. Sorry, Caleb. I had to say this. But when you were here, I still have my touch ID on your phone. So I went through your phone and you were DMing other girls when you were dating her. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Caleb, we do not 
fuck with you. <laughs> oh, also, shout out to you for telling her Ellie needs to stop making her stupid YouTube videos, but then he still watches all of them, and he texted me about the one that he was telling her I need to stop making them, and he's like, great job on your video, like, keep up the good work. Oh. Mm. Okay, which one is it, huh? I mean, I know you're watching this right now. <laughs> give me those no. views. Give me those views. Like, yeah, rack them it. up. Stack them up. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope everyone's having a great day. We'll probably add on the clip when she talks to him later, so mm -hmm. stay tuned. Perfect. Bye. Bye.